after speaking with the customer on phone, I requested they send me the GPS uh, coordinates of their location. Uh, so I pulled up the, uh, the satellite image, take a close look at the roof, and in order to access uh, key factors like size, angle, shading, and uh, structural layout, and most importantly, the orientation. So from here, we can get a realistic idea of what is possible uh, without setting a foot on site. Now, taking a look at uh, the, the roof, I can see the uh, existing installation they have, uh, which is a combination of eight 250 watt panels, uh, a charge controller, and uh, some four tubular batteries. So when we get to site, we will still do an initial inspection of these uh, existing installation and see if uh, the possibility of uh, integrating those panels with the new with the upgrade that we want to do we uh, finally got to site uh, did the inspection with the old system and uh, we are going to be removing those existing panels because we later find out that uh, like two two of those panels have cracked uh, they they had already been uh, disconnected i think because of that maybe when they were having issues with the system so they were disconnected so that setup will not uh, work with the new upgrade we are going to do so we are going to be removing it totally and in this case because the east and the west sections of the roof the east and the west sections of the roof are with substantial size for panel installation uh installation in both directions that's east west now East string connected to independent MPPT will enable uh, to ensure that we are able to track the sun movement throughout the day. And uh, looking at uh, their load requirements as discussed, a grow watt SPF 6000 ES plus uh, a 6 kVA uh, upgrade inverter with dual MPPT will meet these needs. Then, how do we then meet the requirements of the inverter so it, uh, it might can meet our expectations? Uh, with 4,000 watts allowable PV input by MPPT, we'll, uh, and in this case, we are going to over panel moderately at the same time, staying within the limits of the maximum e uh, VOC input of uh, the MPPTs on the uh, This will allow us to uh, take advantage of uh, low light conditions because we have to balance uh we have to balance the stc projections with uh, real life conditions we'll be going with uh, nine by 630 watt panels per orientation nine on the east nine on the west i'm uh, making a total of 18 panels and with this uh, uh, inverter panel setup we're looking at an average year round, uh, average daily year round generation of uh, between 25 and 30 kilowatt hour per day. Uh, so that's including the uh, worst case scenario. At least that is the that's the projection we have. So in this case, we are going to be installing a minimum of 15 kilowatt hour uh, lithium battery. So and this is going to leave room for uh, expansion in future. But at least the minimum uh, battery we are going to install in this case will be a 15 kilowatt hour battery so, so that it will meet uh, the load needs and it will make it possible for us to be able to keep the cycle going on daily at the same time powering uh, the um, um, equipment in the house and most importantly the grow at SPF 6000 ES plus as parallel inputs. That means we are able to expand accordingly as uh, power needs arises. Uh, we are able to move from 6 kVA to 12 kVA by adding another one by the side, connecting them in parallel configuration. And we have space on the roof for additional uh, uh, panel installations.
the installation has started and we are we are done with the east facing side of the roof uh, consisting of uh, nine 630 watt panels and uh, the we are working on the western uh, the west facing side of the roof now so the 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 principle is the east facing side we get us started early in the morning uh, before it peaks uh, later in the afternoon before the west side uh, the west uh, part picks up so that means we are able to track the movement of the sun throughout the day and it's not as if the west side too will not be uh, generating anything there is light but it will not be as good as what we are getting from the uh, east side of the roof so the east usually peaks uh, in the afternoon and the west uh, will drive us down uh, to the to the evening so we're able to capture take full advantage of the the, the movement of the sun throughout the road so that's that's what the, uh, the arrangement since the the roof is the east west facing uh, uh, side so we can at least take advantage of the movement of the sun to get as much as uh, we can get in a day the west facing part of the roof is getting uh, done now we're putting the railings down to get uh, ready for panel installation transfer switch we installed a while back because we are integrating the new installation right now uh, since all the loads in the house have been already as critical in this case so there is no complicated wiring involved this is the existing ATS in the house I think the generator is on so I think the ATS has a um, uh, remote start and stop buttons and you can also uh, set it which is a which is a very good one you can also set the timing of operation uh so this is a, this is a very cool uh, ats so in this case everything is cool we are not doing any complicated wire in this case all the loads in the house are critical means they are all connected to the inverter this is the uh, consumer unit downstairs i'm going to be going up to see the consumer unit upstairs
120 amps fuse. And that is because the, the PV cable from the panel down to the inverter is over 10 meters. So as per standard, we are meant to uh, do a set of SPD close to the panels and we have another set of SPD close to the inverter itself. So this one is for the east facing uh, panels, 9 by uh, 630 watt panels and this is, this is for the west facing panels, 9 by 630 watt also. So the installation is fully done now. So we are we are coming up with the start of sequence. The battery is up now. Battery comes up. We go. The battery breaker. The water comes on. Okay. And we have uh, the AC breaker is on, the output breaker on. So light so so PV one and PV two. Right now there is no there's no uh, utility and so we are fully now in a full read right now. This is east facing panel uh, breaker is the SPD, then you have the west facing uh, setup uh plus the SPD, then you have the uh, AVR uh, utility uh, supply. Then you have the input as utility inlet for the inverter, the AC SPD, then output of the inverter. Then you have uh, uh, this is the MTS as the manual transfer switch sitting here for in case if anything goes wrong to, uh, with the inverter, you can actually manually switch back to uh, utility direct so that there will be no downtime. You know, if there is utility, it will just bypass the inverter and go directly into the house. So it's there for uh, maintenance purposes and if there is any issue with the inverter you can actually bypass and uh, uh, there will be no uh, the customer can actually bypass the, the the inverter and get their house on on the grid direct and so you have the the, the battery breaker here and we have a Taiko 15 kilowatts uh, uh, battery, battery. Now, right now it's uh, Charging at minus 2.37 amps, it's at 98 percent. And the heavy lifting is being done by the solar panel at this point because you have this 38.3 percent load on it. So, uh, most of the supply is coming from directly from the solar panel. So, what uh, is needed, the left uh, power that is in there is taken from the battery. That's why you have this low uh, amperage uh, discharge from the battery itself. Full explanation of operations, and you will never ever regret it.